everybody again today my wonderful viewers now today video session we are going to be looking at another aspect of the finger drumming which i need to raise your consciousness toward that particular direction in as much as you want to perfect the aspect of playing the finger drumming as a dj irrespective of whether you are using the controller the virtual dj or any dj here you can think of there is one aspect you really need to look at today i'm going to be dealing with it if you are new to this channel please don't forget to keep it it as i continue to drop more content for you for those who have been there i'm sure you've really enjoyed a lot of value every mapping that i'm using here will be available for you at the description box for you to download the links are there some are, most of them are uh, something you can part with or free completely free but don't worry it's something you can lay your hands on so if you have any challenge in that regard let me know let's get into the deal already so thank you for being there today today we are going to be looking at the different settings that we have for our finger drumming patterns first you have the general mapping that comes with the reaction of your keyboard when you press a particular sound if you play the sound and wait until it finishes before it reacts again when you press the key, it will not give you this ten 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 kind of sound. This one takes care of doing the job. It plays it as long as you press it. The more you press it, it goes back to the beginning just like hot cue to play the particular sound. Let's get to see the mapping. So this is the mapping for it. When you come to your setting, you go to your controller, you go to your letter F, you can see that is the play underscore stutter. So these are the positioning of the sound that you have. So this is the major hit sound. The second stage is, which a lot of us are not too familiar with, is the play while pressed, which is just like the normal Q underscore play that we use as DJs most of the time. So in this case, we embark, we incorporate this same feature with our drum. Instead of playing it like this, just watch. By the time I hold shift. So you can see, it only pick a particular part of the sound and place it as long as you hold the key. And once you release the key, it stops it. Then the third one, which is, let's show, let's see the mapping for this. This is Shift, F8. You can see, that is play while pressed. So it executes the action when the key is down and leaves it. So it plays as long as you hold the key. Look at it. When you hold it for long, it plays it completely. But when you, the faster you leave it, the more the lesser it plays the part of the sound so the third one is the loop this is a very common one sometimes you have a beat like this as it's running you want to incorporate another sound on it let it be playing as you play it let's get to see that let me put on the beat first so so these are my key rack these are my samples let's assume i want to play another beat on it so you can see, let me put the volume in full. So this is mostly applicable when you want to make a mashup of a particular kind of a beat or a particular kind of song. You want the beat to continue to roll, then the beat will roll, it's playing on the loop, it will play continuously until you stop it. So in doing that, you are presenting another unique style of beat to the particular beat that is in play. Maybe you want that particular beat to be your lead beat on the particular track pattern. So that is it for this. So that is how interesting all these individual elements can be. So this one has its own setting. When we go here, get this loop to get your sample play in the form of a loop. I'm going to be showing you the setting right away. First, you are, this is the sample rack where the sample is being shown. In this case, our target is this particular key kick. We come to this very stage. We right click here. We take the trigger mode. Look at it. We are different trigger mode. Our trigger is on stutter. You get your this sample. You pick the particular kick. In this particular. On this particular kick, what you do is you pick this mode to be loop. For the normal finger drum that we are using, we are actually for the normal finger drumming that we are using, we are actually using drop. But in this case, you pick loop so that you continue to loop the samples and you attach the synchronized lock. So it's going to synchronize the song and lock it to flow as if it's part of the original beat that is being played. This will ensure that you have a fluid, smooth flow of the two beats that are going together. So that is it. 
very simple. I think other elements are not to have uh, other purposes which I'll be talking more about as time goes on. So you have this lock, you have this for the loop. Then if it is not loop, you go to this very one. But here in this case, we are dealing with loops. This is a loop sample. So it's going to be loop and then it's going to be lock. When you're done, you click save, then you close it. Once you are done, you close it and that is all for it. So let's continue to enjoy more as we get more element as time goes on. Channel, don't forget to keep a date as I continue to bring you more entertainment, more information, more education, and the list is endless. Thank you very much for being there.